late 50s came to a close, he made his first appearances on television in the long-running series Billy Bunter. You snubbed that tin from Coca. Just going to scoff it. Oh, I didn't. I, I, I got this in a parcel from Bunter Court yesterday. Oh, you fat chump. We saw you pick it up and uh, make off with it. Oh, did you? He was in every single British soap around from emergency war turn to Dixon and Doc Green. So he was a... A real working lad in his teens. In 1962, he met his idol and featured alongside Steve McQueen in the film The War Lover. Often these days you get actors who come from nowhere, who leave drama school, who find, wow, bang, the movie, the play that, you know, puts them right in the forefront. But you don't often find actors who've been around from a kid almost a child actor. 20-year-old Michael timed his entrance to the 60s perfectly. He was an opinionated mod for a David Frost TV show. The reason I'm here is I wouldn't be here at all if someone had a spanner. I'd be off like a streak of spit from a bugler if I had a spanner, only nobody around here knows how to pass the fly button, let alone do up a nut. So I'm waiting for my turgid brother to give me a lift home. Michael had grown up. The singing voice was sidelined. He was the face of a new generation with a boy-next-door charm. 